Gilius, I would say, brings a lot of passion to the team. Um, he has such a strong will to win uh, that I think no matter what happens, no matter if we start strong, no matter if we start start losing or things are good or bad, he will always have that drive to kind of make everybody also want to work hard. So I, I think that's like the main thing he brings. Thank you, Rodrigo. Obrigado. Smile. <laughs> nice. Nice smile. Smile. Congratulations <laughs> from the short game. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I always did uh, a lot of um, sports activities, played a lot of football, table tennis. At one point, I was so bored of everything that I just watched a lot of like streams. Yeah, back then, like Phantom Lord, Odd One, Ocelot, and stuff. I got like really hooked into it, like seeing pro players play it back then when I was like silver or bronze. It was like inspiring. I was like, wow, these people are so good at their champs. When I faced them actually myself, I realized that I'm actually not that good mid laner. And then I just started jungling and it worked. I don't know. I was winning with jungle. <laughs> when the weather is good, I would go play outside and then at the night I would play games. So this is my whole life, yeah. Have you ever played Talia and you Zoe? And try to gank him? Just gives you one kill, ignites you just that. Yeah, I know. Or if you're doing a jungle camp, just the one shot. I know, that's what happens. Like whenever I see a squishy jungle and I play Zoe, I always try to, to die to kill the jungle every yeah. time. That's a good mentality. Agree. It's really disgusting, huh? Yeah. I was really happy um, when we decided to resign Gilius and he re decided to stay with us. Um, he was a very key part of us winning like 10 games straight last season. So having a core that has already succeeded so much in the LEC is very great to work around. I tried to push you as well then, but your Twitter game was a bit too, too weak. My Twitter game? Yeah. Uh, I told everyone Dylan Falk was the best and then I look at Dylan Falco's Twitter last week 2017. <laughs> Gilius is a guy with a lot of energy. He's, he's really funny and um, he always performs when it's needed. So in high pressure matches, you can count on him to make the right calls and play really well. Did you guys ever do this before a match? It gives you confidence. Your, your body feels like you just won. Don't put this in the movie, otherwise people will always win. So. It felt good to resign here We're in Schalke. Um, getting to work with all the same people again and yeah, I mean, I just wanted to play with Abbe, Neon, Bibi, Limit, and our staff is all the same, so that's nice. Honestly, it's first match of an entire year of playing. I hope no one's like nervous or really caring too much about the results today. Like, just just play. Um, just play. Yeah. I'm I'm not too concerned either way over what happens today, just because I'm so happy with the progress we've made over the past two to three weeks. And yeah. also, uh, just play as a team, by the way. Just play together. Yes. Help each other out. Involve people in place. In my early days in the league, when I played for like Vitality, I used to just meditate because I was just told to do it by coaching staff or people around me. And it always helped me quite a bit. You just feel good when you meditate. You slow down your breathing and it makes you relax. So it can help you a lot if you're an emotional person or if you get stressed out. It's just uh, what I need, I think. Yeah, Nita, stop. I'm coming. Help. We need help, I'm top. Looking. I'm, I'm coming. Okay. We can turn this. Nita yeah, Nita, flash. Go Nita, go Nita, go Nita. Nita, 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 Nita. Sin continues to smash down with the Q. Here comes up a dagger. And these powers available, looking for a target. Melissa joins the fray. That's a fantastic two-man knockback, as well as the stun. Schalke get the first kill of the game. Schalke, they've got one Nexus turret. The cleanse is now coming up. Dash is forward, but he's blown up. He's destroyed under the tower. Schalke step forward in the Nexus is down. <laughs> <laughs> Torrey's gonna go all the way forward. The first Nexus turret will be falling. Patrick is focusing on the turret. You he's can't kill Patrick! Out. Limit goes low. The shockwave comes out just to put damage to the Gilius. The Nexus is the focus. XL will take down Schalke. Down me. I need help, by the way. 
I'm pushing, I'm pushing. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. We can maybe you can, maybe you kill him. Yeah. Grabs an ult here. Niski didn't get slapped, he still has the gold card. They can't do anything to walk forward, and that means Fnatic. Shalker just gonna have to watch as their base is torn to pieces. And look here. I don't I have ulti. Just do it, I, I think. think you guys need to run. So the Graves sees me on this midway and she just starts dragging. Yeah, but then we can dive top. Yeah, we should just uh, we should just kill this fucking Orn. Or you need to make so just may, need to make Tia not be able to hold. This weekend was a roller coaster. Started out with, with a lucky win and then had a good match with Axel. And we just lost. Hier, das ist einfach schlecht. Das ist einfach schlecht. Das ist ziemlich, ziemlich schlecht, dass du dich zeigst. Also, ich, ich weiß nicht, wie, wie wollen wir das spielen? Weil er macht gerade einfach als Level 5 Graves komplett illegal einen Fucking Drag. Obwohl, das, das ist mein Drag. Und dann, das ist Fnatic. Wir kind of dropped the ball in the early game already. And fell behind and there was no way to come back. I was making Gragas combos before you guys were born, by the way. I was comboing with like Gragas. I was mid lane main season 2 playing Shushe Gragas. Like, you guys are such noobs, by the way. Yeah, you guys can go play. Like, holy shit, one on one me on Gragas. Let's make Gragas a tournament, by the way. Uh, I went pro officially season 4, but I already played like tournaments like season 2 and 3. I don't know, one day I just got contacted by Unicorns of Love. I was calling, actually talking to Tristan, to Power of Evil. He called me on my phone. Yeah, today is our match with G2, they said. And I was like, what the fuck, G2? Like, so you want me to sub in without scrims today? Like, I actually just get a call in the same day. I told him, okay, I can't play. But we will probably lose, he said. I was like, yeah, sure, let's lose. So I went there. Then I met like some two random guys that I've never seen in my life before. One guy was called Visi Chachi. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? He was so nice, but I never saw his face or he heard his name before. And then the other guy was Hilisang. And when I went there, I was just talking to Fabian, uh, Odo Amne, Hyanan. I told them, yo, I'm just playing for Unicorns, playing with G2. And they were like, holy shit, you guys will get smashed. And I was like, yeah. And yeah, we won, so. The game, Unicorns of Love, keep the dream alive, and they are into the semifinals. And I get to handshake Ocelot when his, there's veins on his head, out of anger, losing to Unicorns of Love. After the game, there will be people, they will be like, Wow, you're a pro player, that's so cool, can we take a picture? And I was like, what the fuck, these people want a picture with me, so... That's pretty cool, yeah. Remember, just if we're behind, all the stuff we work with as well, this is a team that I think we can definitely come back against if we fuck up. We're running teams around the map every time we're behind this room, so that's really good. So. Yeah, I'll just rush this down. We have to go soon. Yeah, I'm ready Get for Get ready, Bibi. Yeah. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Azir? Oh, here comes the ground star fall. Gilius is diving in, look at Jezza who flashes away. Broken Blade coming in as well, Gilius tries to jump on. The Shockwave lands, the hero's entrance is there as well, and this is the perfect team over Shelka. They found their man, they found their mark, and they'll be able to pick up two kills quickly. Broken Blade on the back line takes out Genax, and there is only Treat and Blue left alive. Blue almost done for, one more spear from Gilius in his rear will cause him to die. Blue has to use the stopwatch, Neon still alive. Dived in with a green instinct, and now he's going for more. There's Genax down, and Jezu and Tinks, the last two men standing, but they won't be belong Schalke stampede into SK's base. The way you lose against these plays is if you do nothing. Is if you don't get anything on the other side and you don't defend. They should be active, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, we should also time Mickey X summon us really well because this guy always on cooldown flashes in. They're on me, they're on me. I need Wait. help you. What? I'm looking. I'm DPing, I'm DPing. Graves, Graves, Graves. DPing as well, they're DPing as well. Comes up with Shalka on the reply. Teleports as well as the Destiny come in. And now G2 are completely split up. Caps forced away by Broken Blade. And it's Gilius that picks up the kill onto Mickey. Broken Blade will get run down here. Yankos jumps in, gets caught up by the Darkened Blade. Gets jumped on again. Broken Blade! Tower, tower. Can you end? End, end, end. Or he's on. End, end, end. End, end, end. Nice, man! Let's go! Um, I, I'm having a great time with the boys. I love all my teammates. Like having Limit and BB on board now brings a new light to this team. We have a lot of fun and every day it's not like going to work anymore. It's like 
going to my friends, you know, and having fun here in the office. At Limit, it was nice communication today. You were like, we were together. I mean, not many times, but more than, more than usual. He trusts his team. He will go in, even though it's bad for him sometimes. And we're trying to tell him that you don't have to go in all the time. You need to take care of yourselves sometimes. But he just really wants to be involved with his team. Well, I really like the, the vibe he brings to the team. He's a very emotionally driven player, I think. He doesn't really get tilted too easy and he's like the guy to like just bring the spirit up sometimes or like hype you up before games, right? He's someone who can you, you can trust that if you say I'm gonna go in, he's gonna be there with you. He's just a guy who wants to win, you know, with the biggest will to win I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Everyone is training really hard, so it's uh, it's good to see us benefiting from it. Right, with winning a lot in the league, there will be a time in this year where not everything will be going well. So I hope we just keep working hard and don't get too cocky, you know.